In this video, I want to talk to you about the benefits of red raspberry leaf as a tonic herb. So you probably have heard of red raspberries before and have eaten many of them throughout your life. However, not many people know that much of the entire plant is edible and very medicinal, specifically the leaf. It has been used throughout traditional medicine for thousands of years. So red raspberry leaf is very popular in traditional Chinese medicine and is used as a female uh, tonic, an overall uh, woman's health tonic. It promotes the, the well-being and the functioning of almost every function and bodily system in, in women. And because of that, it is used for many imbalances in, in the female body, particularly related to their hormone health, their menstrual cycle. It's commonly used for pregnancy and treating symptoms of menstruation. However, it has a few other benefits I want to talk to you about. And I want to get into a bit more details about um, red raspberry leaf as a female tonic. So that way you're better informed. And then I'll end the video by talking about a few ways that you can use this herb daily to reap these benefits. So the first benefit of red raspberry leaf that I want to talk about is its nutritive qualities. So aside from having these other benefits, um, perhaps the most um, basic benefit of this herb is that it's actually highly nutritious. It contains vitamins A, um, vitamins C, and E, and these are all potent um, antioxidants. So it actually can help not only you know, build up a nutrient reserves, but to actually utilize these vitamins um, for their antioxidant properties, which means that you'd be helping fight off free radical damage in the body, um, any sort of oxidative stress that could be related to accelerated aging, um, degenerative diseases, uh, skin problems, wrinkles, and in all sorts of different issues because considering the fact that oxidative stress is one of the major causes of disease and aging. So it's a really great way to get in these uh, medicinal vitamins and these antioxidants. However, it's also very rich in particular minerals. Um, it's rich in potassium, phosphorus, calcium, and silica, and a couple other minerals. And these minerals uh, together, of course, are cofactors for the utilization of many vitamins. Um, they can help hydrate you or restore electrolytes and, and fluid balance. Um, silica, for example, is a very uh, powerful sort of a beauty tonic. Um, it has many functions though. Silica can restore um, collagen and elasticity to the skin, so it's good for wrinkles and for hair growth. But silica is also really great for absorbing and escorting heavy metals out of the body. Silica can also be used in your body, in, in your large intestine, by your gut bacteria as sort of like a, an alchemical nutrient that can be transmuted into, let's say, calcium. So if you have a deficiency, your gut bacteria can use silica um, to make other vitamins and minerals. So um, in general, taking red raspberry leaf as a tea, it does not just have these medicinal benefits that I'm going to talk about, but just very basic uh, nutritive qualities that are great for overall health and improving the functioning of your immune system and lowering oxidative stress. So the next benefit of red raspberry leaf that I think of is this uh, anti-inflammatory abilities, particularly related to our digestive system or our gut health. Red raspberry leaf is used uh, historically um, throughout centuries in traditional Chinese medicine and has even been shown to be anti-inflammatory to our bowel specifically. So it's really great for treating inflammatory bowel disease um, and any sort of other inflammation of our, our digestive system such as um, ulcers. So it's known to help treat ulcers or excess heat in the digestive system which can be really great for promoting overall digestive function. And, and lastly, like I said in the earlier part of this video, red raspberry leaf is a premier female tonic. Really, if there was one herb to take for balancing the female system, um, there's many and there's many beneficial herbs, but specifically related to imbalances of the female system, red raspberry leaf is one of the most popular. Um, it's highly effective. Most of everyone who has taken it has shared success stories. Um, it's been clinically studied. It's been used traditionally for thousands of years, like I said, but I want to talk to you specifically about how it helps the female um, reproductive system and hormonal system. It's known to help balance any sort of imbalance in the female menstrual cycle and it does so in two um, primary ways. So most in, in Chinese medicine, most imbalances of the menstrual cycle come down to a stagnation of blood or qi flow and hormonal issues, which could be related back to liver function. And red raspberry leaf improves blood flow to the pelvic region, which is really one of the major causes of, of cramping and bloating. It's because there's not proper blood flow um, to and from the, the pelvic region in women, and so they experience a lot of issues, a lot of pain, discomfort, bleeding issues because of this lack of healthy blood flow. And red raspberry is really great for getting that flow going again. Also, it helps with 
um, cramping and, and other sort of menstruation issues or signs of PMS by detoxifying or getting rid of excess hormones in the body. Um, having too much estrogen or progesterone, there's a delicate balance that needs to be had in your hormonal system to have a healthy period. And if you have excess of these hormones, particularly if you have excess um, bad or xenoestrogens in your body, then you're gonna likely experience some sort of menstrual issue. And red raspberry leaf is really great for removing these excess estrogens and other hormones out of the system, so that way you can experience a more balanced menstrual cycle, one that's more symptom free. Now, additionally, red raspberry leaf has been known to be really great for um, pregnant women or women who are going to conceive and is safely used throughout the entire pregnancy period um, because of its gentle tonifying effects. Now, what makes it so great for pregnancy is it actually has a compound known as fragrin that helps strengthen and tonify the uterus. And by strengthening this, this muscle, which is a, an entire muscle region, it can help you experience everything from less pain pain during birth because you literally have stronger uh, uterine muscles to help you um, pass through labor without straining and stressing so much. So it's literally strengthening the uterus and the pelvic floor muscle so that way you can, pregnant women can get through uh, contractions and, and, and the pains of, of labor with greater ease because they essentially have greater strength to do so. Last but not least, uh, another benefit of this herb, particularly related to women, is this ability to get rid of morning sickness, to promote lack lactation and as I said earlier to promote overall um, healthy hormone levels so that way truly you can experience um, optimal menstruation cycles um, if you are to conceive or not um, you'll have a better time through and before and after your pregnancy and generally as a woman you'll just feel more balanced more energized um, because of these benefits it's, it's more likely that you'll have healthier glowing skin because of the the blood tonifying effects of it and, and the nutritive qualities and of course the, the ability to you know decrease inflammation which can cause many issues especially related to skin so while it's a, a holistic it's a tonic herb that helps the whole body and primary um, targets primary systems like the hormonal system and our blood which has an effect on the entire body positively it is specifically going to be a great er herb for women um, I don't know many men who take it but I'm sure that men could benefit from it as well however um, I mostly suggest this um, herb to women particularly women with balances of their menstrual cycle, um, women who are infertile looking to become fertile, and women who are pregnant or, or conceiving or even post uh, their postpartum and they need to restore their energy, rebuild the blood. Um, this is a really great herb. If you're a woman and you're looking to achieve greater health, then I suggest this herb. You can learn a little bit more about this herb by clicking the link below. A quick tip on dosage is that you could essentially drink an entire gallon of this tea because it's, it's just made from the leaf and it's not too potent that it would um, throw off any systems or create toxicity. Um, much like other tonic herbs, it can be used um, daily over long periods of time without toxicity or toxic side effects. And you would take it by making a simple tea and drinking a couple cups of it a day. I like to use it in an extracted powder form so I can make delicious tonics and enjoy it or prepare it for my partner in ways that are much more enjoyable and, and in a way that you're looking forward to consuming on a daily basis. Because of course, if we do not follow that law um, of basically continual take or usage of that herb, then of course, if we don't take the herbs and they, they won't really work. And like other tonic herbs, um, red raspberry leaf is no exception. It works best when consumed over a long period of time. If you're a woman with imbalanced hormonal system or any issues of the hormonal system at all, this is a herb that you'd wanna take uh, on a continual basis at least three times a day. So to learn a little bit more about red raspberry leaf, as I said, grab the link below.